All right, this is the Line 6 HX stump into the Boss Waza two band expander into the Splunk cabinet, mic'd up, and bone dry. Nothing from the Waza right now. <laughs> switch to turn one amp on and the uh, the the angle meteor off <laughs> from the uh, the Waza. setting about halfway up so if I crank the boost on this up without changing it to the higher setting I can kind of get some nuance with the uh, the increase without getting too much saturation <laughs> which is kind of like the low end off a little bit.
actual amp itself here. Pull the mids back, the presence up. <laughs> Raise the drive, it's right at four, it's four and a half on the drive on the amp. I'll raise it up to six. <laughs> Sag up some. Sag was at about halfway. <laughs> it up to the mid range middle setting on the game <laughs> Here's the 
there's a ton of reverb just to kind of give you an idea what it's like without the boost. <laughs> is on high and the resonant Z is on low. I almost always leave it on low. I think it sounds best there um, on all the different amps I've plugged in this. I'll change the present Z. I'm going to change it to high mid, but here's it. here it is on high. High mid. So you can, you can immediately hear there's like, oh, at least I can. There's, there's a lot more bark in the upper mids. Back to highs. Low mid. And then low. It's getting more dull, but it's also filling out a little bit more in the low end. too dark on that one. Low mids is kind of just a little bit better there. The high mids and the highs is really where I think that the stomp, or at least the way I have it set up here, I think that's where it sounds the best. <laughs> setting. Here's the resonant Z on low mid. So it just took all of the grunt out of it. Here's high mid. Came back. Let me go back to low mid. It's definitely got more bottom in there than on the low mid. And then here's the high. sounds like so much bigger on the low setting so that's kind of the story for all of the different amps that I pulled this thing plugged this thing into the Jubilee the Friedman um, Nitro I mean it's gonna have a crap ton of bottom in no matter what it's doing but it's kind of the same scenario for all these different amps um, but anyways yeah let me uh, grab the camera here I'll show you the board this is that's the Waza right there. Kind of how I have the foot switch, just a button for the solo, and then here's the board. So I've got the got the prism, wah volume, which goes in and out of the Friedman buffer bay, back into the HX stomp which technically is stereo out, but I'm only using one output right now. And I've got a little JHS uh, volume box on there for, um, one output goes to my monitor behind me on the floor and the other one goes to the PA. So I can use that little volume box to alter the volume if I'm not using the Waza. That's kind of the trick there. If I'm using the Waza, then I'll send the front of house output out to the front of the house and they can control that with the pad and the mixer and the EQ and all that. And then I'll use one of the line output 
uh, XLRs into the QSC K10 or K12 uh, two behind me. And then you see is the line out volume as needed to, to set my stage volume. And it's a lot handier than having to have a little volume adjuster between a pair of XLR cables, um, which I've used for years and they've never failed. So uh, they get a little scratchy sometimes, but uh, whatever. Uh, using actual line out volume is a lot easier though. Anyways, current stage setup for now. The next show, who knows, I'll be in the runt. The show after that, who knows, I'll be in the SLO. Uh, it changes every week, but for now, this is how I have it set up, and I think it sounds pretty stinking good. Um, but everything can sound good in the room. What sounds good on the stage, though, it's a totally different game. I'll see you guys later.